Ever noticed your cat's water bowl hardly seems to empty? As a devoted cat parent, you feed them, cuddle them, take them to the vet, and ensure they have fresh water. Yet, many cat guardians face the common issue of their cats not drinking enough water. In this video, we'll explore the six most common reasons behind this cat behavior and provide practical solutions to make your cat drink more so that they stay hydrated. We'll also discuss how to recognize when cat dehydration becomes serious enough to warrant a vet visit. Before we dive in, please subscribe to Wise Animals and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. Number one, you've got the wrong bowl. Not all bowls are created equal, and there are several reasons why your kitty might refuse to drink from a particular one. First, consider the size of the bowl. Cats use the sensitive whiskers on their snout and forehead to gauge whether they can fit through small spaces. While your kitty probably isn't planning to dive into their water dish, a small bowl that causes their whiskers to scrape the rim can be uncomfortable. This discomfort can deter cats from drinking, leading to potential dehydration. The material of the bowl can also be an issue for your cats. Plastic bowls can develop scratches and dents over time, which can harbor bacteria. This may not be enough to make your cat sick, but it can cause the bowl and the water to smell or taste strange. The lingering bacteria can also create an unpleasant experience for your cat, who has a keen sense of smell and taste. Additionally, some cats may have sensitivities to certain materials. For instance, plastic can sometimes cause allergic reactions or irritations around a cat's chin and mouth. This condition, often referred to as feline acne, can make drinking and eating a painful experience for your cat. What can you do about it? Experts recommend stainless steel as the best material for cat food and water dishes due to its durability and antibacterial properties. Stainless steel bowls are easy to clean, resistant to scratches, and do not retain odors. However, if you prefer plastic, make sure to monitor the condition of the bowl and replace it when it starts to show signs of wear. Frequent cleaning is essential to prevent the buildup of bacteria. Opt for a wide, shallow dish to accommodate your kitty's sensitive whiskers. This ensures that your cat isn't forced to dunk their head as the water level decreases. Number two, the bowl is in the wrong place. Would you enjoy drinking water if you always had to do it next to the toilet? Probably not. So why expect your cat to put up with it? While it might make sense from a human perspective to keep all the cat-related items in one area, most cats prefer their food and water bowls far away from their litter box. Cats have strong instincts from their wild ancestors. In the wild, cats hunt and eat away from their water sources to avoid contaminating their drinking water with dead prey. This instinct remains in domestic cats today. Even though your kitty might be eating dry food, they may still prefer to drink water away from their food bowl. So, if your cat is avoiding their water dish, try moving it to a different location. Additionally, some cats don't like drinking in the same place all the time because it can make them feel vulnerable. Cats are cautious animals, and drinking water with their head down can make them feel exposed. What can you do about it? If possible, multiple water sources in different quiet areas of your home. You can help your cat feel more comfortable and encourage them to drink more. This is especially true if there are multiple kitties in the same house. Ensure water dishes are away from the litter box and food, and ideally place them in quiet areas of the home so your cat doesn't have to be sociable every time they want to drink. If your cat is avoiding their water dish and there's no obvious problem with the location, try moving it anyway. Cats are sensitive creatures and things that don't matter to us can be very upsetting and stressful to them. Number three, your cat doesn't like still water. Your cat's wild ancestors didn't have the luxury of dishes filled with fresh water by kind humans. Instead, cats had to find their own water sources and ensure those sources were safe to drink. Running water, like that found in rivers and streams, is generally safer to cats because its movement helps flush away bacteria and mold before they can build up. Many cats still prefer running water to still water, and some will actually avoid standing water altogether. What can you do about it? Letting your kitty drink from the faucet occasionally is fine as a treat, but it can waste water and money, especially if your clever feline learns how to turn it on themselves. A better solution is a cat fountain. These cat fountains cycle water through spouts, providing your kitty with the fresh, running water they prefer without you having to constantly turn on the tap. The continuous flow of water not only appeals to your cat's preference, but also encourages them to drink more, helping to keep them hydrated. Additionally, many cat fountains have filters that keep the water clean and fresh, reducing the chances of your cat developing any health issues related to contaminated water. Number four, your cat doesn't like the taste. We all have that friend who insists on only drinking flavored water, saying they don't like the taste of plain water. Some cats are just as picky. The water from your faucet contains small amounts of chlorine to keep it free from bacteria. And while humans might not notice it much, 
some cats can be sensitive to its taste. If your cat seems reluctant to drink from their bowl, they might simply dislike the taste of the water. What can you do about it? You don't need to buy bottled spring water for your cat to make their drinking experience better. Instead, try adding a few drops of liquid from a packet of wet food or a can of tuna to the cat's water bowl. The added flavor can make the water more appealing to your cat. This small addition can make all the difference in ensuring your cat stays hydrated and happy. Alternatively, you can use a water filter to remove any chlorine and other chemicals that might be affecting the taste. Some cats also prefer cold water, so adding a few ice cubes to the bowl can help entice them to drink more. Number five, your cat doesn't like drinking. Cats evolved in hot, arid environments where water sources were scarce, so they adapted to get most of their hydration from their prey, drinking water only occasionally. While this works well in the wild, it can pose a problem for domestic cats, especially those on a dry food diet with constant access to water. Some cats adjust to this lifestyle, but others might have difficulty and may not drink enough even when they are dehydrated. In some cases, a sudden change in cat drinking habits might indicate a health issue. If your cat used to drink a lot and then suddenly stops or shows other behavioral changes, it could be a sign of illness or injury that makes drinking uncomfortable or painful. What can you do about it? If you suspect any health issues, consult a vet immediately. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Meanwhile, switching your cat to a wet food diet can help increase their moisture intake. Adding a little extra water to the wet food can also be beneficial if your cat is severely dehydrated. Just be careful not to make it too soupy, as your cat might then avoid the food altogether. Ensuring your cat gets the necessary hydration is crucial for their health and well-being. Number six, the water isn't fresh. You might think that a cat wouldn't be too picky about the state of their water bowl. After all, their wild ancestors probably survived drinking out of puddles, and you've seen your cat lick their own butt. How fussy can they be? The answer, cats can be very picky about their water. If it's not fresh, cats will often refuse to drink water that has been standing for too long. So if your kitty seems to be avoiding their water dish, it's time to consider when you last changed it. Moreover, stale water can accumulate dirt and debris, making it unappealing to your cat friend. Additionally, standing water can harbor bacteria, which might affect the taste and smell, making it less enticing for your cat to drink. What should you do about it? Your cat's water should be changed daily, regardless of how much is left in the bowl. When you change the water, take the opportunity to rinse out the bowl to reduce the chances of harmful bacteria developing. Ideally, give your cat's dish a proper wash using hot water and cat-safe dish soap every two days. This routine ensures that your cat always has access to fresh, clean water, which can encourage better hydration and overall health. Using a water fountain can also encourage your cat to drink more, as it keeps the water circulating and fresh. Cats are more likely to drink from a clean, fresh source of water, so maintaining this can help ensure they stay hydrated. Ways to tell if your cat is dehydrated. Dehydration in cats is a serious concern, and recognizing the signs early can make a significant difference in your cat's health. If you notice any of the following symptoms, it's crucial to consult a vet as soon as possible to prevent further complications. A dehydrated cat often appears unusually weak and lethargic. You might observe that your typically playful and social cat friend is now disinterested in playtime and less interactive. This sudden change in cat behavior is a red flag that something is amiss. Additionally, the cat's saliva may become thick and their eyes can appear sunken, giving them a tired and unwell look. There are a couple of simple tests you can perform at home to check for cat dehydration. One effective method is the cat skin elasticity test. Gently pinch the loose skin at the back of your cat's neck and then let go. In a well-hydrated cat, the skin should spring back into place almost instantly. If the skin takes a while to return to its normal position, this indicates a loss of skin elasticity, a common symptom of cat dehydration. Another test involves checking your cat's gums. If you have a trusting relationship with your cat, gently tap their gums with a finger. In a hydrated cat, the gums should feel moist and smooth. If the cat's gums feel sticky or tacky, this is another clear sign of dehydration. It's important to remember that cats can be quite stoic and hide their discomfort well, making it challenging to identify health issues promptly. Therefore, paying close attention to these subtle signs can help you catch cat dehydration early and seek the necessary veterinary care. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Your support not only encourages us, but also helps other cat lovers discover our content. Don't forget to share your experiences in the comments below. And consider subscribing to the Wise Animals channel for more informative videos on understanding and caring for our feline friends. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.